In this video, we'll look at how to draw a histogram. So, it starts with some data. Those numbers are given there on the page. I'm going to go through them and fill in the table. So let's begin. First, you should be able to set up the table, of course. So the intervals are given. Either the question will specify, or you should pick intervals so that you end up with somewhere between 5 and 10 intervals. In this case, it's marks, and none of the marks are lower than 20, I observe. So our intervals will begin 20 to 29, then 30 to 39, and so on. To find the midpoint of intervals, you add them together and divide by 2. So you can try that on your calculator if that's something you need, no problem. And divide by 2, and you get 24.5. You might be able to see that without a calculator too. What's the middle number of 30 and 39? It's like the average, which is 34.5. You might also notice a pattern. What happens when you add 40 and 49 and divide by 2? you get 44.5. And just looking at the pattern, I'm able to determine the rest of the midpoints. That is, the middle numbers of each of the intervals. And the last one is 94.5. Okay. Now I need to go through my data and tally up how many numbers, I'm just going to tick off as I count, how many numbers are there you can either go through each number and tally like this, or go one at a time. I'm going to go one at a time, just because. There's no reason. It's just a preference. So how many numbers are there between 20, there's 1, and 29? There's one more. It's a tally of 2. So my frequency is 2. How many numbers are there between 30 and 39? I'm just looking for numbers that begin with 30. I don't actually see any. Nope. So there's no numbers between 30 and 39. How about between 40 and 49? There's 1, 47, and that's it. So we have a total of 1. How many numbers between 50 59? There's 1, 2, 3, here, 4, and then Five. Hmm, might have miscounted there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Aha, six. That's what I thought. So it should be six here. And you want to be careful to count them all. How many numbers between 60 and 69? There's one there and one there. So any other 60s? Nope. There are two numbers between that one. How about in the 70s, 70 to 79? I got one at 73, another 73, a 77, and another 73. That's a total of four. Oh, and maybe another one. There's five, yep. There's five there. How about 80 to 89? There's one, another two, and a three, and four, this one here. It's counting at 1, 2, 3, 4. Yep. And then from 90 to 99, how many are there? 90. There's 1. There's 2. There's a total of 2. So now cumulative frequency. Up until this point, I've seen 2. And then 2 plus 0 up until this point, I've seen 2. And then 2 plus 1 up until this point, I've seen 3. 3 plus 6, I've seen 9 by here. And 11 by here by here 16, and up till here 20, and up to here 22. Oop. And I can check, just to make sure I've done that right, see the sum of the frequencies here. What's 2 plus 1 is 3, plus 6 is 9, plus 2 is 11, plus 11 is 16, 16 and is 20, 22. Yep, just checking. Even though I just did that math here, I just want to check to be sure. And that might be useful depending on what I'm doing, if I'm doing some other calculations like with mean. But I'm not doing mean here, I just want to draw a histogram. Sometimes you'll be asked to draw a histogram of cumulative frequency versus the midpoints, but in this case I've asked for Mark's frequency, so just using this column. I better circle it so I don't use the wrong one. And I want to draw Mark frequency versus interval. So, few things. Make sure to draw your axis. Make sure to put arrows on the axes. Make sure to label this frequency and this intervals 
or the interval's midpoints. I'm going to use their midpoints. You'll see in a second. So make sure to label this and make sure to make a scale here. Here I went 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. And for this one, my columns are going to go from here to here. So I'm going to use the midpoint here, 24.5, and then the midpoint here of 34.5, and the midpoint here of 44.5, and so on. Each of my midpoints are going to be on the middle of their respective columns. There we go. And now, identify the frequency and make the column. So here I have 2 for 24.5, and then 0. Just show me somehow, maybe darken it, that you know that one's 0. And then one, make sure you're using this column. I have 1 here. at 44.5 and then 6 that's all the way up here and where your bar should be touching very important for a histogram that the bars touch this would probably be helped with a ruler I'm gonna go over that with a ruler so I don't get any communication marks off only takes a little bit of an extra second but it's worth it because it comes out looking nice there we go much better so, finish this bar down to here. Okay, so that was 6. What was the next one? 69 to 60 to 69 is 2, so that's here at 2. In fact, if you want to see a trick, it's helpful just to put the limits first. That is, that one goes up to 2, and then 70 to 79 goes up to 5. Put that up here. It helps if you have a see-through ruler, too. And then 80 to 89 is to 4. And that's right about here. And then 90 to 99, or the midpoint, 94.5, has 2. That's, again, back down here, and 2. And now I can draw and connect all those bars together. Now I get... Mess that one up a little. Go over it. Oh, I see my bars were a little bit too far. My see-through ruler didn't help as much as I hoped. Let's erase that a bit. There we go. And then this bar down to here. And this bar down to here. And there you have it. A frequency histogram. Or a histogram using frequency versus the interval. And I should probably write interval midpoints. What did I do? Found the midpoints by taking the average of the intervals, tallied up each thing that's in each interval or for each midpoint, and then counted the frequency of the tallies, just counted how many I had of each, and then plotted the count of each interval midpoint on a histogram.